No. It, I mean, okay, I'll, I'll like, I don't want to just end the video right there, but that would be funny if I did. Okay, so should you go to school for music? That's what this is, okay? Well, it. do you want to be happy or do you want to be great? And listen, if you would choose happiness over greatness, then like, don't bother watching my videos at all because you're not my target demographic. There's nothing wrong with you if you choose happiness over greatness. But um, like, you save yourself time and watch other people who more align with your goals, right? But if you want to be great, you want to, if you have an insatiable drive to achieve greatness, then no, you shouldn't go to school for music. And I'll tell you why. It's because the burden of proof that music school is worth it is not on the detractors to prove that it's not worth it. It's on the supporters to prove that it is. And they have no case. Like, what I mean by that is, like, I could just tell you, it's unfalsifiable in a way, because I could just tell you, like, it's not unfalsifiable. But it, it follows the same line of logic, the bur of burden of proof. Um, it's guilty until proven innocent. It, it's, it's guilty of not um, being necessary until proven... It, I mean, it's innocent of nothing. Like, it's guilty of nothing until proven guilty of that thing of whatever the claimant is claiming. The default cannot be that it is necessary or that it's, you know, even good. That cannot be the default statement. It's an extra thing that has to, to be proven. Like, it, um, I could just tell you, uh, hey, do you know the universe was created last Thursday? All your memories and everything was, the entire universe was implanted in you last Thursday. And you'd go like, what? No. And I'd go like, Oh, really? Prove it. Prove me wrong. What? Like, it doesn't matter what you say. You could say, oh, what about this thing that happened? I could always just go like, nope, that all came into existence last Thursday. That's stupid. It's not up to, up to you to prove me wrong on this thing that I say. It's up to me to prove myself right. It's up to me to prove that the universe was created last Thursday. That's the burden is on me. Otherwise, it's not. The default setting is the intuitive it was not created last Thursday, right? And the same thing applies here. The default for musicians, the only defaults really are, you know, you listen to music, you play music, you make music, maybe you release music, and, and you know, you live music, right? But music school, like, if you want to add it in there, you need a reason. And all the reasons for going to music school are stupid. Like, What's a reason someone might give for going to music school, okay? They want to learn to play an instrument or score a movie or something like that. And the argument has been said to death, but that's because it's true. There is no education that, it, that is exclusive to college anymore or really any school. Yeah, you could spend $4,000 going to one of these like, you know, Juilliard or whatever, one like some Academy of Arts, right? $4,000 a month going to these classes not even learning anything with any sort of intimacy in like a classroom of like 170 people or whatever, you know, showing up when it's time to show up two times a week to this class and then being done with it after a semester, whether you learn anything or not. And, you know, being forced to take all these prerequisites and all this other like BS, dude, or, or you can pay $2,000 a month for private one-on-one -on -one sessions with an expert. You're paying half the money and you're getting like an education from someone who is actually truly an expert in their field, not someone who failed in their field and became a professor because they couldn't do anything in their field. Um, and, and this person has enough time to cater their lessons to only you. You know, they, you have their phone number. You can reach out to them outside of, you know, their office hours of this time to this time, these like handful of hours, like two or three hours throughout the day um, because they have other classes to teach of other hundreds of people, Right. And you can have them for as long as you want and, and make the lessons go however you want them to go. And it doesn't just end arbitrarily after a semester or whatever, right? And you still have two you two grand a month left to spend on like features and promoting your music and, and collaborating with like other, uh, you know, 
creative people, people to make music videos and cover art and all this stuff and promote, like uh, uh, people, I already said promotion, but like, you know, different kinds of marketing strategies and upgrading your equipment and traveling and studio time and all this other stuff. Another reason to go to music school is for the connections. And look, I can go down the rabbit hole on how connections from music school are almost always dead ends. But even if they are good connections, let's give the benefit of that. Let's give as much lenience as possible, right? Even if they are good connections, like you go in, you, you're going to be worthwhile connections, okay? Let's just have that in our minds. You're going to be worthwhile connections. Guess what? You don't need to enroll in the school to walk around on campus and start talking to people and watch classes and make friends and connect with them anyways. Another reason why you want, why you, you might want to go to music school is for a degree. And look, I don't even want to expand on this. If you don't realize how worthless a degree is in the music industry, you're actually delusional. The only thing a degree is useful for is if you want to be a music tutor and you need a degree on your resume. But dog, just lie. Just say you got a degree from that place. No one ever checks. I have five friends close to me that all have jobs. Every single one of them lied on their resume. And yeah, it might say something about them, right? That they lied on their resume. But I think it says more about the job that even though they lied, they were still able to do the job and keep it. That they were qualified. And I've heard someone go like, you know, you should go to music school because, you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Exactly. That's why you shouldn't go. Let's say you're really out here networking, right? And someone goes like, oh, hey, I know a guy who's going to be headlining, uh, you know, this like show on this tour and he needs some help for it. Right. And the guy that he had canceled last minute, you want to fill in and take this opportunity and meet with these big artists. The only catch is the show was in a different state, 800 miles away. And it's tomorrow. Now you could say, OK, well, I'm going to, you know, take a shot at it and hope something comes out of it. Or you could say, well, I already have these commitments to show up to like a classroom where I learn nothing that I can't learn online, um, one that should be held on Zoom anyways, but I gotta be there in person uh, so I can, you know, mark myself as a attending the class. So yeah, you know, I can't miss these shots, right? Th that quote can literally go either way depending on how lazy or motivated you are. If you're a lazy person, then having someone hold you accountable and make sh making sure you're productive and doing things temporarily will resonate with you more. Right. Well, what happens if that if that works, even after that works, let's say you make it right. After that, the only person to hold you accountable is yourself. What happens then? Because that's when most artists fall off is after having a big hit, they get even lazier. They sleep on a win. And the professor taking attendance, you know, giving you a handout because you've been given handouts your entire life. Is not there anymore, and you may not realize it, but these handouts are not going to help you in the late game. It's just going to serve to make you lazier. You don't give a man a fish, you teach a man how to fish. And if you're motivated and you're not lazy, the quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, will actually lean you more towards not going to music school. Because you're missing out on opportunities that you could have if you're not tied down to this like attendance thing. I know I said I can't prove why you shouldn't go to music school, but... Because it's like, it, it a burden. I, you can prove it in a way. Um, it's not like it's unfalsifiable. But that just goes to show that this is such a stupid idea. Even though the burden of proof is on someone else, you could put the burden of proof on me and I'll still prove how stupid it is. It's such a stupid idea to go to music school that it actually works giving myself no leeway. Giving the other team as much leeway as possible, it's still a stupid idea. Going to school makes you lazy, like, uh, you know, after a certain point, not like in the beginning, but like going to college for this kind of thing, it gives you an excuse because you're under the label of student, you know, not unemployed, which is what you really are. But not being in school, if you're a, like true musician, that will light a fire under your ass. Like, hey, this is serious. Act with some urgency. Get it going. You're here. You're in the end game. This is the real world. You don't get to have the excuse of being a student. 
right? But in school, you can always put off things like, oh, I'm a student. I don't have time on my hands. I'll put out the album after I graduate. I got time. Your biggest asset as a musician is your time. And if you're somehow going to music school to save your time, um, then go. But by and large, the amount of things in music school that will waste your time has reached an all-time high. It's kind of a shame, really. It makes me sad to see. Because there should be a music school. There should be a good one, you know? I want people to be able to go like, okay, I want an education in music. Let me do this thing and go down that path. It doesn't really matter what your goal is at this point. The majority of your time at school, at college, for 90% of people will just be wasted. Just, you know, waiting to get through the few times throughout the day where your effort can actually be realized. All throughout that rest of that time, you're just wasting away. Don't be fooled by these marketing teams at these colleges only showing the tiny percentage of graduates who actually found success, you know, trying to pass it off as like, their school is what did it, right? When chances are, it was probably the student's network or portfolio that did it. With or without the school, they would have done it. That's why sons and daughters of big musicians can get into any music school they want to. Because even if they're unqualified, the chances of them being successful are significantly higher because of their parents. So these schools will just accept all of them. So that way, if they do end up becoming successful, they can use them as an example for their alumni and use that to market to all these other impressionable kids like, hey, you want to chase your dreams? Oh, join our school. Look at all the successful people that came out of it. When really it's just, it's survivor bias. People want to go to music school because they, 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 they're chasing their dreams and they're impressionable. That's how it works. They saw high school musical or they saw camp rock when they were little and they were like, man, I wish my school was like that. And then they take music classes in college and they realize it's the same boring, useless information you learn in all your other classes even in high school, but just with a little more drinking. Any, any institution where they try to teach something subjective with a grading skill that is purely objective, where there's still like standardized testing and all this like quizzes and homework and all this stuff, and all this stuff, there's no effort put into it by the professors. It's all been recycled year after year after year. All the answers to all the things are still on Quizlet, even in music school just like every other class in every other school. However, I will say this. If you want to achieve greatness and you want to like eat, breathe, live music and you have an unlimited budget, like your dad is some rich like multi-millionaire or some shit like that and if you can afford a lifestyle of $20,000 a month in expenses just for yourself, then you know what? Shit, go to, go to music school do everything else as well, and also live around music students. And if you truly want greatness, right, you're going to stand out as an overachiever in music school, as well as being ridiculed behind your back for being privileged. But in front of your face, everyone is just going to be sucking your dick. Um, and it's a great way to actually get free labor from them and, you know, connections and all that shit, right? So if you have like if you have if you have less than twenty thousand dollars a month to just blow, don't go. If you have more, hmm, what's the harm in blowing five grand on music school? You got fifteen more to screw around with, you know.